welcome back to your channel. Today I'm gonna be making you a delicious recipe. Today I'm gonna be making you a spring roll, Thai spring roll, but I'm gonna be making those rolls for you with three different meats. You pick and choose, my friend, which one you like out of all of them. I'm gonna be making uh, today ground pork. My then we're gonna make shrimps and we're gonna make the barbecue. The barbecue of pork, it's about to be done. As soon as it's done from the oven and we're gonna make those delicious spring roll with fresh barbecue pork. This is gonna be beautiful. It's very aromatic, it's very delicious. Just come with me, my friend, and I'm gonna teach you how to make this lovely, great recipe. So the first thing we're going to do we gonna get some garlic. I already have my garlic peel. So what we gotta do is just press the garlic in there. Look how nice that comes. Usually when I'm marinating pork, I usually have red onions. So I'm gonna do this time white onions because we're gonna use tons of vegetables, my friend. We're gonna pour um, a lemon, the whole thing. Okay. We're gonna add black pepper, coriander. Yeah, one tablespoon is fine, because it's pork meat, and we wanna give flavor to that, okay? We are going to add uh, spices. This spice that I use, this loaf, there's no sodium in there, because it's to taste, no sodium free, and it has all spices in there. I put a whole spoon of, we're gonna add a little bit of salt, teaspoon of salt. A whole teaspoon of salt okay because it's pork meat and remember that meat it's going to help flavor the vegetables okay we're gonna drizzle with sesame toasted sesame oil just a little drizzle okay soy sauce okay oyster sauce fish sauce rice wine in there we are going to uh, whisk everything together Okay, this is how it's supposed to look like, okay? We're gonna add it into a pork. We're gonna leave some to do for the um, shrimps, okay? So we're gonna mix it all together. I'm gonna cover it up, put it in the fridge. 15 to 30 minutes, okay? But now what we're going to do is, we bind the shrimps already. Those shrimps have been bind. It's been clean and it's been dried up. So what we're going to do, we're going to chop it in small, tiny pieces, okay? Okay, so now this is looking fantastic. This is all done, okay? This is nice and soft. I'm going to put the cornstarch, a teaspoon, a whole teaspoon of um, corn flour and the shrimps, okay? So we're going to pour out some of that sauce in here and now, the remarinade, it's tasting. So we're gonna remarinate it. The most you can do is 15 to 30 minutes to taste nice and flavory ice. Now I gave the time for my barbecue pork to be cooked. Um, you could always um, check out my video. I already made the barbecue Chinese pork. You can see how to make it. It's a phenomenal recipe. I mean, I know you're gonna love it. I made lo mein and it tastes delicious. You could always check on that video as well. I'm gonna cook everything separately because every uh, egg roll is gonna be independently. They're not gonna be all mixing together. I'm gonna heat up my pot and I'm gonna pour out a little bit of avocado oil. It's fine. So now we're gonna cook it nicely. In the meantime, this is cooking. I'm gonna put the shrimp to cook too. I'm gonna to do two at the same time. That's exactly how your ground beef is supposed to like, my friend. It looks nice. It still have a little bit, a very little bit of juice left. And this is how beautiful your shrimps looks. All we gotta do as well is to combine them with the vegetables. Uh, the first one we're gonna prepare, because remember, I was gonna make you three different ones so you could pick and choose. So now, what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the purple cabbage. I, I already, it's already been nice and cut. Also have some white cabbage. We already have some diet um, celeries in here. We have some cutting uh, um, carrots as well. We're not gonna use the leaves on the cilantro, but we're gonna use the stem, okay? Because that's 
cilantro leaves is kind of like it's gonna dry out it's gonna get dark and it's not gonna look pretty after that's the pork so the first thing we're going to do we're gonna um put a pot of water to boil and i'm gonna do this different that's right it's my recipe and that's how i'm gonna do it all right and the reason why it's because i will tell you through the video why i'm doing it this way so now we have this pot of water we're gonna uh, put some salt in there okay for baking soda for crunchiness okay so protecting our um we're gonna protect our vegetables not to give uh, like very watery once that's boiling we're gonna add our vegetables in there like i said i'm gonna do this recipe a little bit different so for the sauce that we're gonna do we're gonna be using ginger we're gonna use like this much of ginger okay this much we're gonna use again the little um spicy peppers and we're gonna use garlic that's to make the um the paste for the sauce okay so we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna smash any everything in there this is the consistency that we need I'm gonna add this to my pan I'm gonna dress it a lot with a little bit of oil okay I'm gonna turn down the stove okay medium heat this all in here all right so we're gonna twist this around a little bit until this space get cooked we want to make sure that the um, garlic and the ginger cooks nicely now we're going to put our uh, purple couch okay beautiful we're going to cook this for at least one minute was more than enough now what we're going to do we're going to put it in cold water Aroma is smelling phenomenal. Smelling beautiful. The salad and the ginger, it's coming along beautiful. We're gonna add our, our fish sauce, sauce, oriental powder, oyster sauce, a little bit of vinegar to break the molecules to make that taste delicious, brown sugar. Cabbage is looking phenomenal. We got the cabbage from the cold water and it still have texture to it. I just cooked it, but not extremely cooked all the way. I'm gonna drain it. Now, um, we're gonna add pork meat in there now. We're gonna mix the pork meat. Instead of cooking that on the stove, when you mix everything together, it brings water. So now we're gonna mix everything because that stuff has been cooked already. Look how beautiful it looks. See? That's the sauce that we want it. That beautiful consistency. See? Nice. See? That beautiful sauce. Now what we're going to do, we're going to pour out some of that sauce in here. Make sure that everything's soaked in the flavor. And what we're going to do, we are going to leave it there. So for the vegetables and the meat and the sauce to rest together. Okay, so for the second one that we're gonna make, we're gonna be using carrots, um, Chinese uh, chives, garlic Chinese chives, yes, leeks and white cabbage. We're gonna use Chinese chives. We're gonna use leek, garlic, leek, uh, Chinese, and carrots. And for that, we're gonna dress it with the noodles, okay? We're gonna suck these noodles right inside of water for 10 minutes, warm water, not more than 10 minutes. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna chop my vegetables, okay? I'm gonna chop, um, my leeks, okay? This is my shiny shape, so I'm gonna chop them on. Okay, get rid of the ends. And I'm not gonna cut them too small because I don't want them to break inside, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing with the garlic. The same size, the same length. This, the noodle, as you can see, it's cooking beautiful. Come and see. 
See, they're beautiful. And they're cutting apart already. They, they suck it in. We're gonna cut this as well, the leaf. And we're gonna cut it nicely. We're gonna go through here, right in the middle. Now, what we're going to do, we're gonna um, wait for the water to cook up a little, to uh, boil a little bit. And then I uh, will tell you later. Okay, so now our water's already boiling. I'm gonna put my carrots in. This is what we're going to do in the meantime, the cabbage is cooking. So the noodle, we're going to cut it like three times, okay? We're going to cut the noodles. We want noodles to be nice and cut. Now, I believe our cabbage um, could be added now. So now we could add our cabbage into the carrots. Okay, now we're going to put the rest of the vegetables just for one minute, okay? Here we go. This is all done. All done, okay? Now I rinse out the vegetables. I rinse it out. I squeeze all the water that I could possibly could, just like we did with the first one. This is looking pretty good. Look how nice it's looking. We're gonna add the noodles this time, okay? We add in the noodles. The noodles, we had to do the same thing. Have to be really careful. Else we want a crunchy, crispy, spring egg roll okay so this is all mixed okay. i'm gonna add uh fresh uh, bean sprouts okay and i did not want to soak in them in water or anything because they drip a lot of water as it is okay we're gonna add some of this mixture in here for the shrimps it's not a lot of shrimp so i'm not gonna put a lot of um a lot of veggies a lot of veggies okay so let's see how that comes now whisk it together Okay. A little bit of the stem from the cilantro on that. Now we're gonna drizzle it up with our sauce, you know. And that's the reason why we put all this ingredient at the end. It might be a little bit more hard work, but it's all worth it because all that sauce is gonna be sucked in and you don't have to drain the sauce. And in order for this mixture to stick in, we're gonna add one the egg white, that's our shrimp, okay? Now we're going to cover that up, we're going to add the uh, egg white, here we are, the, the ground uh, part me, okay? And as you can see, it's not watery, it's nice, and it's dried right how I want it. So now we're going to add all these vegetables in here. It's time for the sauce. I'm going to show you the rolls that we do. I usually get this kind, but I was told by my sister to try this kind that is also really good, nice and crunchy, okay? So today, for the first time, I'm gonna try this uh, kind of spring rolls, but my usual ones are this kind. So you could usually buy it at your own regular grocery store. The first thing we're gonna do, um, we need a towel. We need any kitchen towel that is wet but it just has some moisture because if we put the uh the spring rolls in there we want to make sure that they stay nice and moist because you don't want to let them dry because if you let them dry it's not going to be easy for you to um to roll them up okay so this is what we do we cover it up and leave it covered okay need one egg just to cover the edges so they could stick together and they don't break in the oil. One egg. First thing and we're gonna do, we're gonna flat on, we're gonna flat up your um, pastry, edge to edge like a triangle, okay? Always like a triangle. Now we're gonna put um, your meat inside here. We're gonna make it nice and pretty. We're gonna accommodate it pretty well, okay? It's like um, one third of a cup that you're gonna put in there. So try to accommodate it nicely, okay? So we put a little bit more. This is gonna be so nice and it's gonna be so tasty. And so we're gonna roll it, bring it in nice and tight, okay? So now all halfway, now we're gonna put a little bit of um, egg in there, so to make it nicely. So we're gonna do this again. This is the way that I do it. And this is how we can, my friend. 
You need to make sure that you tighten it up pretty well because if you don't tighten it well, it's not going to be crunchy. The trick is in how to tighten it up, okay? So now I'm going to roll the shrimps. And as you can see, mine is not dripping any water, extremely dry. If you follow my recipe the way we do it, you don't have to drain anything. Everything will stay intact and all the flavors stick together, okay? So here we go now. We're gonna make one for you because I know these are different kinds of texture just because um, the first one didn't have no noodles. It was just meat and basically meat and vegetables. This instead has meat and um, different, they has noodles as well. So here we go. I'm gonna put a little bit like again, like I explained to you, right at the edge, at your last edge. Just put enough, you fix enough in there. Nice and pretty, beautiful colors in there. I hope it tastes as much as it smells, because it smells fantastic. Okay. So now we're gonna tie up together. Tie up this little pocket wrap bring these edges together close pretty close do the same things like you're doing an envelope wrap and wrap and then put your eggs at the end okay and here we have a beautiful 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 egg see just like that my friend done with the shrimps we are done with the pork uh, the barbecue pork and now we work it on the round pork okay so let's see how this one comes out this one went pretty well okay so again we're gonna go stuff it up in the middle this is beautiful make sure it's so beautiful we're going to elongate it nicely. It's like we're going to fix everything in here nicely. Yep. Just to have space. Tie up real tight. In. Bring it in. Bring it in. Tie up. Okay. So. Glue it together. And that's how it comes, my friend. Beautiful. You know, it needs to be around 250, okay? Because we don't want to overburn anything. This stuff, it's already been cooked in the inside. All we want to do is crispy them up, okay? The first one I'm doing first is um, the uh, pork meat, okay? Just put three or four at a time. That's all you need. So let it fry them until they get nice and golden. You give them the opportunity for them to cook on one side and then you cook it on the other side. So this is a nice bubble. You don't need to um, to increase the heat too much because then you'll burn it, okay? This color is beautiful as you can see. Look at the texture and the color on them. They have brown in and out. And I'm gonna get this out because they are very nice and golden brown. We don't need to extremely cook them since they already been um they already been cooked. Okay, so we put this batch in here first, and we get another batch. Okay, now the results are amazing and beautiful with color. Um, they crispy, they delicious, they taste amazing. And I made, I addressed a nice um, homemade sauce that I make with mango, pineapple, sweet and sour, and it's delicious. And you could always look it up in my, on my YouTube channel, and it's right up there. And everything is delicious. You're gonna like that sauce as well. But those, those spring angles, they were phenomenal. What I'm going to do now, I'm gonna try to cut. I'm gonna to try to cut one of each to see how nice and flavory they The first one, my friend, is going to be the shrimp, the shrimp egg roll, okay? This is how the shrimp came. 
it came beautiful it came really really nice i'm gonna dip into that sauce and see mm. Mm. amazing juicy crunchy it just tastes fantastic mm. Mm. that crunchiness with the sweet and sour sauce phenomenal now i'm gonna try the um, I'm going to try the barbecue pork. Look how beautiful this looks. This is exactly what I was expecting. Now I'm going to see how nice and crunchy this tastes along with this sauce. Look at this dripping. Mm. Amazing. If you want to get the same texture, just follow the recipe. Go on my barbecue, um, barbecue pork. Uh, video and you will find it mm. amazing now I'm going to try see how crunchy that is I'm going to try the pork wow look at this mm. look how beautiful that looks okay now I'm going to try how crunchy this comes Mm. Oh my gosh. To be honest to you, I don't know which one you want to choose. But I tell you, this has been a worth of video to do. It's been phenomenal. It's just fantastic. The food tastes delicious. It's uh, three different egg rolls, three different combinations three different flavor if you combine it with the um, sweet and sour sauce that I made with mango with pineapple grapefruit juices and spicy oh you're gonna love it this stuff it's amazing it's to die for they crunchy they crispy and I hope you like it my friend thank you for watching me thank you for spending your time cooking with me give me your thumbs up if you still want me to uh, keep making beautiful recipes I hope you really had a great time. We love you and see you soon.